Facebook lead generation ads are a powerful tool to capture high quality leads directly from social media. So in this video, I'll show you how to connect your Facebook, create your first lead form, map your fields and track your leads all within the platform. To get started, navigate to settings, then select integrations. Next, we'll connect our Facebook account by clicking connect. From here, select the Facebook page that you would like to link with this location. If you're going to be using Instagram, be sure to select your Facebook page that is linked to your Instagram. As you can see, this one is here. Then click connect Facebook and Instagram. When we're redirected back to the platform, we can select our ad account from the dropdown, and then we'll log into our ads manager through adsmanager.facebook.com and be sure that you're logged in to the same ad account that you selected here. For our Facebook ads manager, we can create a campaign, then select leads and click continue. Then within our leads campaign, we'll navigate to the ad set by clicking next, select instant forms as our conversion location, then next once more. And if we scroll down, here's what we'll see. We can create our instant form by clicking create form. Just take note of which questions you add on the question screen because these will be the fields that we're going to be mapping within the platform. Back in the platform, all we need to do is create a new contact field by navigating to custom fields within our settings and clicking add field in the top right hand side of our screen. Then we can select the type of field that we're adding. For this case, we're using our favorite color. So we'll say single line text, then click next. On this screen, we can give our field a name, add our field to a group and then click save. Now that we've done this, we can successfully map that information from the integration screen. We'll navigate to Facebook form fields mapping. And just like that, you'll see your lead form here. And if you click map fields on the right hand side, then you can see the different fields that you've added. As you can see, fields like email and full name will automatically map to the corresponding fields within the system. But when creating custom questions like this, we'll have to map them to the corresponding field by clicking select field, scrolling down and selecting our field that we'd like to map to. Then we can click save. Just like that, we've mapped our form. To test out our new lead form, we'll navigate to developers.facebook.com slash tools slash lead dash ads dash testing. Here we can select our Facebook page, select our lead form, and then either create leads by clicking create lead or by clicking preview form and filling out our fields here to test a real customer interaction. To see this in action, we can submit this preview form. And once it's submitted, we can navigate back to the platform and we can see our lead has been brought over right here. And to manage these leads that come through our Facebook lead ads, we can even create an automation by navigating to automation, creating a workflow and using the Facebook leads form trigger. When using this trigger, make sure you select your page as well as the form itself that you'll be using whenever you're running your ads. And just like that, we've integrated our Facebook page, created our first lead form, connected it to the system. And we know we can track and manage all of our leads right here within contacts. Now that you've set this up, feel free to tweak your lead forms, create new automations and test your ads so you can efficiently generate leads off of social media. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.